Welcome back to another console collector video. Hey everybody, console collector here, back again with some more pickups. Not a whole lot to cover in this video, but I did get some pretty good stuff at a garage sale and some really cool stuff from a Value Village thrift store, which I believe Value Village is known as Savers in the US. Anyway, let's just jump right into it. This basket of stuff. This is all from one day's garage sale. I ended up getting everything in this basket for $70 Canadian. First thing here we got is the Back to the Future Trilogy on Blu-ray. I didn't have it on Blu-ray, so I thought that was pretty cool. And the best thing about garage sales is, yeah, make a bundle and then try to get a, a good price at the end of it. So, happy to grab that. Got a Wii U game here, Super Mario 3D World, but actually inside it's new Super Mario Bros. U with Luigi U. So mismatched, but still thought it was worth grabbing. Got a sealed copy of South Park to Stick of Truth for the 360. A couple PlayStation 2 games. Resident Evil Outbreak and Resident Evil Outbreak File 2. Yeah, these are great scores. She had them at five bucks a piece. And they're both complete, which is nice. So great score there. And File 2 is actually getting really expensive. I think it's in the $50, $60 mark now. And then, there's this 2DS. 2DSs are out of stores now, so it's nice to always pick up an extra one. It's the blue one. It's well loved, and the stylus doesn't stay in. So, but still, it works. No complaints there. Just turn it on there. It's a little slow. There you go. So, yeah, that was awesome. And then, obviously, came with the charger. Came with some AR cards and a few games. Came with Lego Batman. We got Kung Zhu. Indiana Jones 2. Super Smash Bros. for 3DS. Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon for 3DS. Donkey Kong Returns. Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs. SpongeBob SquarePants, Nicktoons, Globs of Doom, Star Wars Lego 3, and then Zuzu Pets 2 featuring the Wild Bunch. And yeah, just some AR cards. And whatever this is. Looks like a Lego shield. That must have fell in there. Alright, so that's the garage sale. 70 bucks for all that. Pretty good deal. Now, my lunch break. I ran over to the thrift store I usually hit and found some pretty cool stuff. First thing I found, some cables. These are PlayStation 2 S-Video, sorry not S-Video, component cables. I always mix that up. And they're monster. Yeah, so six bucks for those. Pretty happy with that score. Then they had this game here. DuckTales Remastered for the PS3. Yeah, for five bucks. It didn't come with a manual, but from what I looked online, it didn't actually have a manual. So, I think this one's complete. So, that was cool. And it's the physical version. And then this thing. I haven't picked up a obscure console in a very long time. So, this, uh, it was nice to grab this. Let's see who knows what this console is before I show it. It comes with these remotes. These are the controllers. Zap it games. Yep, there's a purple one, got orange one, yellow one, red one, green one, and blue one with this cool case. Do you guys know what this is? I knew it as soon as I saw it. It is part of this bad boy. For $13, I got a Game Wave. I wonder if Game Dave likes the Game Wave. Yeah, so a Game Wave with all the controls for 13 bucks. Fantastic deal. Basically, from what I know about the Game Wave, is it's like a DVD style game where it's like trivia and you pick options. So it's technically a gaming console. It only has a few games released for it, but... Yeah, it's cool because it doesn't need anything extra. 
has its own built-in power source and then just needs some standard S video or composite cables to hook it up. But yeah, I thought for 13 bucks with all the controllers, that's a great deal on the the uh, pretty obscure game wave. I don't have any games for it, unfortunately. I looked all through all the DVDs and games and didn't find anything. That's how I actually found DuckTales was trying to find Game Wave games. So, I don't know if I'll have any luck finding Game Wave games out in the wild, but who knows. If you know anything about the Game Wave and what kind of games it has, uh, let me know in the comments because this is my first time ever finding a Game Wave in the wild. So, All right, that's going to wrap up today's video. Be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on social media. The information is in the description. I want to thank everybody for watching. I am the console collector. And until the next video, happy gaming.